This is Tomo News for Thursday, February 2nd. Three-year-old Detroit boy fatally shot by 11-year-old. An 11-year-old boy has been charged with manslaughter after he shot a three-year-old boy. The older boy was visiting his father at a home in Detroit's east side. The victim was identified on a GoFundMe page as Elijah Walker. It's currently unknown if or in what way Elijah may have been related to the boy who shot him. According to Detroit police, as the two children played inside the house, the older boy found a gun in a bedroom closet. The older child then reportedly tossed the weapon out of the bedroom window and both kids then went out to the yard to play. In the yard, the older child reportedly retrieved the gun and the two boys apparently began some sort of game. Authorities say the older child then took the gun and got inside a parked car in front of the house, possibly as part of the game the children were playing. At around 1.40 p.m. on Monday, the three-year-old followed the older child into the car. The gun fired and the toddler was hit in the face. The boy was pronounced dead on arrival at hospital. The 11-year-old has been charged with manslaughter, specifically death by weapon aimed with intent but without malice, using a firearm during a felony. The charges come despite police calling the incident an accidental shooting. Wayne County Detroit prosecutor Kim Worthy said in a statement, I cannot remember a time when we have charged someone so young with taking a life. He's demanded it. Who do you think is responsible for this death? An 11-year-old kid irresponsibly playing with a cool toy? Or whichever adult left a loaded gun in an unsecured location in a home with children? How body liquefaction technology dissolves human bodies. You have many options for what to do with your body when you die. Bury it, freeze it, cremate it, and turn it into a diamond. Let it take part in a Tibetan sky burial. The list is endless. One option you probably haven't thought of is liquefying your body. No, it's not quite something like this. A Florida funeral home was the first funeral home in the U.S. to use an alkaline hydrolysis unit in 2011. The resumator is a steel chamber that uses a solution of water and potassium hydroxide to dissolve bodies. The chamber is pressurized to 10 atmospheres and the temperature is cranked up to 180 degrees Celsius for between two and a half to three hours as the remains are dissolved. The resulting body liquid is pure enough to be disposed of in the sewer system while the bones are crushed into ash. Metals such as artificial joints are also recovered. Resumation Limited, the company that owns the resumator, says that its units are an efficient and green alternative to cremation since each unit produces a third of the greenhouse gases that cremation does. A 12-year-old boy is hit in the eye by a bullet after lighting it on fire. Play with guns, kids, or even just bullets for that matter, because you might get shot in the face and you're no Superman. Take this 12-year-old boy in Humble, Texas, for example. He found a bullet inside a 22 caliber gun along County Road 686 one day, then proceeded to conduct an experiment with the bullet using fire. This isn't a good idea, kids, as you can see, the bullet exploded, sending fragments through the boy's left middle finger and into his left eye, causing little bits of metal to become lodged in his eyelid. He then had to be rushed to the hospital by his mother. So, if you find a gun or bullet, kids, leave it alone. Man gets nailed through the eye in freak weed whacker accident. Take a look at these cringe-worthy x-rays taken by doctors at Boston, Massachusetts General Hospital. A 27-year-old landscaper came in for treatment after a nearly three-inch nail became lodged in his eye when he accidentally hit it with a weed whacker. Doctors likened the positioning of the tip of the nail like the finger in a dam. If they removed the nail, there could be a jet of blood or a potential damage to the eye and brain, doctors explained in a case study released in Thursday's New England Journal of Medicine. The doctors came up with a plan. With two surgeons on standby in case of complications, a third successfully removed the nail. Miraculously, the man was on his way with nothing more than a scratch. A checkup eight weeks later showed his vision had returned to normal. Had the nail struck even a millimeter away, the results would be fatal, doctors said. The lesson here is clear. Wear eye protection, even when gardening. Two people were killed after being thrown from park ride in China. Two people were killed after being thrown from a brand new ride at an amusement park in China on Friday. The 10 meter tall ride called The Scream at China's Zhejiang Pingyang Amusement Park was opened to the public for the first time on Friday. Witnesses said the staff may have started the ride before the tourists had a chance to buckle their safety belts.
Five people were thrown from the ride. A man and an eight-year-old boy were flung to their deaths. Three others were injured and two of them critically. The amusement park has been closed since the accident, and the owner of the park was detained by police.